that's it. Hi, there you go. Everyone, this is Skipper, and we want to welcome you to the Lucy McKenzie Humane Society. We have a few different dogs and some hilarious cats to share with you today. These are all critters that are looking for a new home and definitely looking to make you laugh and give you some fun. Now, Skipper here, let's see, we'll start with our biggest, our biggest critter. <laughs> our biggest critter at the shelter. Skipper is, if you can believe it, a nine-year-old German Shepherd. He absolutely loves toys. Hey, Skip, you want another ball? Can you sit for me? Sit for me. Good boy, catch him. Oh, you got it. Skip, you want the entire basket? Okay. Here, what would you like? What would you like? Which one would you like? That one? But let's see, Skipper, he um, came into Lucy McKenzie as a stray, a super amazingly well-loved stray. He was the chubbiest German Shepherd I've ever seen in my life when he came in. Someone really loved him and they simply, they simply lost him. He's been here for a few months now and things to know about Skipper, <laughs> even, as a, even as a middle-aged fellow, he definitely loves toys. Thank you. I didn't even know you could pass tennis balls back. Um, he loves toys. He loves people. Um, once, he, once, he, once he knows you, he is a, oh, he is a barker at strangers. So take a look at that giant mouth of his. He definitely knows how to use it when he sees someone he doesn't know. But very affectionate, very easy to brush, to play with, to walk, to groom. What is that there? What is that? What did you find? Here, go show Paula. Go show Paula that toy. <laughs> um, he's hilarious in the snow with his big winter coat. But let's see. Hey, Skipper, um, besides your big mouth, what are some other things people should know besides your love of toys and your big old, big old shepherd mouth? Oh, um, other dogs. Um, let's see, other dogs pending an introduction. Um, no cats. And because of his love of toys, we also don't recommend him for any families with little kids. Um, anything where he may get to a toy before a little kid does. Oh, what's that? What's that one? What's that one? Oh, I got you. Oh, there he goes. But he's just an absolutely wonderful, big, affectionate boy. Um, and we've said it in the past, you know, as a nine-year-old dog, he still has energy. He still has lots of fun in him. But if you're just... Hi, you want this one? Go get that one. But if you're just going and having your first dog, I definitely recommend starting with an older dog. This is a dog that already has manners, a dog that already has training, and that you already know his personality onto. And it's a big, good personality, huh? Oh, butt rub. They're so loyal, the German Shepherds. Oh, yep. And German and Shepherds as a breed, you know, once once they choose you as one of your one of their people, you are theirs for the rest of their life. Um, super loyal, very human focused. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? One more ball? Okay, one more ball, and then we'll see who else we should meet. <laughs> Wait, two more balls? This one? This one? Which one are you looking for? How about that one? <laughs> oh, look at that. He loves them. And that is a solid German Shepherd. Um, they're used a lot for professional dogs because they're so easy to train to toys. So easy to train for a toy reward. You're a good boy. Come here. Come here. Say hi. We're going to start off our cats with this adorable old lady. This is Tilly. She is super affectionate. Every time you walk by her door, she is rubbing herself against the door. If you're looking for just an easygoing companion, this is your girl. Oh, there she is. And let's see, things about little Miss Tilly. Um, she's not a young chicken. Um, she's 11 years old. And there she goes. And nice things about old cats is they do not climb your curtains, attack you out of the blue, <laughs> and destroy all of your furniture. An old cat is just a joy to have. She has um, super nice size. It's oh, very oh, yep. And I had an old lady just her size for there years. You go. I can't get you over oh, there. There we go. There we go. Oh, and we would just compete over who we could get her to sit in the lap of. And you know, a small, affectionate cat 
It's just a joy to have in a house. There she is. There she is. And she came in as a stray. Um, the folks who first got her, she came in with, you know, a group of feral cats. And so when they spayed her, they did the litter ear nip. So you can just see the little scar she has there. And then she, they realized instantly when she woke up that, oh, this is not a feral cat. She is a lap cat that just got lost outside. I, oh, I wish your, your microphone was good enough to pick up the purring. It probably will. Oh, let's see. If you haven't had the chance to have a purring cat in your lap, it is a it's thing so of joy. You can see how quickly and easily she realizes that your lap is the best thing in the world. And how long has she been here? Um, she's been here for just a few months, okay. so she's just getting settled in, and you can tell she has no trouble with that at all. Nice. But um, and let's see, all of the cats we're going to look at today also do very well with other cats. Um, and so if you're she's looking for just cat room here, yeah, and she's just an easygoing girl right here. Um, let's see, as an old lady, she is on you know old lady cat meds, um, just to help with the urinary tract, but you know. And once you hit your, once you hit the double digits as a cat, it's easy to just get on a daily pill. But she's just a sweetheart for company. And one of the things that I always enjoy too on an older animal, if you haven't had a cat before, you know, an older cat is a nice way to start. Let's you test in there without that, you know, decade plus long commitment. And my other thought on, you know, adopting older pets is it simply means you get more of them in your life. So she is just, oh my gosh, she's hilarious. Aww. She is like sprawled over my leg right here. But easy going, lovely so petting. And cats, they have so many different personalities. And finding a sweet little girl like this is just, oh, there she goes. Rubbing up against everything. Hello, what a Betty. pretty little girl. Yeah. So I know she's pretty soft too. I know. Oh, yeah. I know. There we go. Oh, oh right behind the ears. There oh, go. there she is. Nice purple collar. Mm -hmm. Very very sweet. Oh, she's so yeah. sweet. No trouble so being picked sweet. up. Just the love a love Good companion. Everybody, mm -hmm. this is Shadow, and I confess he's perfect. He is a dog yes. that, oh, of course say hi to Paula. He is just an adorable, sweet dog. Wonderful with kids, wonderful with cats, wonderful with, um, let's see, kids, cats, other dogs. He's just an easygoing boy. How old is he? Um, he's six years old. Okay. And he came here because his owners lost their housing. Oh, um, we get so many animals at the shelter that are surrendered simply because they can't find housing that will let them have their pets. So he's a well-loved dog. He loves people. I haven't met a single person this dog does not like. What do you smell? Has everyone been having? <laughs> Look at the wiggle. <laughs> Wonderful for a first-time dog owner. Oh, yeah. You know, yes. Right? Oh, no. Definitely oh, such an easygoing, successful dog to have yeah. as a first-time owner or a family. Um, it can be hard to find. Hi, mister. Did you find that ball I hit over there? It can be hard to find a dog that works really well with kids. And, you know, starting, you know, my theory is hat. What was that you wanted to get there? Um, you know, what was that? What was that? A white beef, a little white nose. Yes, you love bugs. No, that's, that's my nose. Do you want to see your nose? Do you want to see your nose? There he is. Um, but no, starting with a nice adult dog, his personality is just so rock solid on him. What you got, mister? What you got? <coughs> he's just smelling everything, smelling everything. Um, but yeah, he's a dog. Every time I pull that leash out, he is in seventh heaven. I love that even as a good middle-aged boy, <laughs> look at that. He gets this little, um, the zoomy butt, the little, the little run around, tuck and run. Oh, look at that good boy. But no. Um, we have a wonderful collection of dogs right now here at the Humane, Humane Society. You know, from easygoing family dogs to our giant shepherds, we have a small little chihuahua, a couple of young puppies. It's just a lovely mix of dogs. 
he's shadow. And he is saying hello to every single person that walks by. That tail is going. I did see him stop. I saw him stop wagging his tail once because he fell asleep. It happens to us all. I know, I know. Oh yeah, he's a lab, um, definitely a lab mix. Um, probably, he probably goes about 10 generations of good old mutt is his, best did kind. you just hit me in the face the with your tail? Kind. Yeah, the Terrible. best kind. I know. <laughs> you can see him responding to all the shelter staff. Um, everyone here loves this boy. Shadow. Shadow. Is it? Is it? Is it getting close to dinner time? Is that what I just heard you say? <laughs> hey, big guy. Come say hi. Come say hi. Right there. No, it's like I saw James go people? by. Oh yeah, look at that eye contact he's making people. out there. Oh, but I mean, just look at that gorgeous body on him. Here you go. Wonderful straight chest. Yeah, he's really all the way a through. He's a gorgeous there. boy. I know. No, he's one of those fun ones where depending on which body part you look at, you see a different breed. You but he's a good head. boy. You got the blocky lab. Yeah. Hey, Shadow, are you, ready to go f are you ready to go for a walk or do you want dinner? Which one would you like more? Hmm? Got you. <laughs> Thank you for being a good boy. Yeah. Go ahead. This is Harris, and we're going much younger than some of the other cats we're looking at today. Harris is Beautiful. a nice, let's see, he's two, three years old. And the thing that I laugh the most about it, about Harris is he loves dogs. Every time we bring a dog by, he literally is at the glass. He is a case of curiosity, killing the cat a thousand times over. He's a ham, um, hilarious playful fellow. Um, one of the joys of cat ownership is just getting to enjoy how quirky a cat can be. And he is an enthusiastic, quirky boy. Um, but let's see. As far as handling goes, um, he is a you know an experienced cat owner or someone patient. If he gets too excited, he's definitely one of those cats that instantly turns into you know kind of chasing, ambushing. So he's been known to you know reach out and catch you with claws, with teeth if he gets too excited. But you know an experienced cat owner can you can definitely recognize that twitch of the ear that means imminent ambush. But he is just, oh, look at that. Oh, and if I hope he can get a good headshot in here because he is stunning. He has these gorgeous piebald black markings, a beautiful white eyeliner. Um, David Bowie, yeah. He give, <laughs> he give David Bowie a run for the eyeliner, a star. Just <laughs> gorgeous markings up and down. But, you know, if you're looking for young, youthful enthusiasm, surprises, Harris is definitely the cat for you. Are you twitching your tail? He was watching that is everything a serious. We were doing out the oh gosh. Everything. Um, I think that they have to clean the glass at least seventy-three times a day for the <laughs> amount of nose prints who are put on it, looking out at the world. Yeah, he's been very lovable too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, I, he's very cute. He's got cool markings. Oh yeah. yeah Big giant tomcat head on him. And he likes to play, but he also was laying down next to yeah. you, you know, so no. doing both. No, right. cuddling, playing. He reminds me of the type of cat who will definitely let you know when it is time to play and you are not doing your job as a cat owner. Mm -hmm. Yep, communication is not his weak point. You are gorgeous. You're just so thick and muscular. Look at you. Yeah. Oh. Oh gosh. Energy. Yeah. Energy. Yep. And at the shelter, there's such a huge mix of cat personalities. It's one of the things I love about getting to know cats is just that each one, they go from affectionate to solo to playful to curious to a quirky boy like you. A lot of cats. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. And I think this guy's and we a have, lot of cats. Yep. And right now we have everyone from kittens to young cats, middle-aged, to seniors looking for a home. So a personality and an age for everyone. And then other things to know too, coming up here at the shelter, there is gonna be a rabies clinic in February on Saturday the 10th. So if you're needing to update your rabies cert certification um, before the towns have all your rabies license due, 
um, coming. It's $20 for um, any rabies vaccination, um, first come, first serve. They're also going to be doing microchipping as well. So, you know, one of the saddest things, we have a few strays here now, but that microchipping is a wonderful way to protect your pet and bring it back to you so that they don't end up in an animal shelter. So that's February the 10th, Saturday. Come on in. And you are so cute. Um, come on in. Um, take care of the pets you have and take a look and see if there's anyone you want to bring home and add to your family. You. <laughs> Everyone, this is Ginger. She's one of our newest members here at the Humane Society. And her name's Ginger, but what I call her is the Jackrabbit. She is such a hilarious ball of energy, always sprung, ready to leap. Um, let's see, she's a young dog, she's only a year old. And she came here because the dog she, was, she grew up with um, started attacking her. So you can see a few of those bite scars are still healing on her. And um, that does mean she doesn't like other dogs at this point in her life. So she is a single dog um, as far as adoption. And this is a girl that if you need some love in your life, um, as a pit bull, she is the most affectionate creature, super people oriented, and she is so, so ready to please. Um, she's a dog that even with all of her enthusiasm, when you, she's had obedience training, I, truly you have, right? I can tell sometimes. Um, but you can see her working so hard to do what's asked of her. And it's always amazing to see a dog put forth that energy. Um, let's see. So things about bringing Ginger home. You were, like so many dogs, laugh your bum off. Um, no other dogs. And then also with, you know, that high energy and toy drive, you're going to get to see that she has. Um, no cats, chipmunks, squirrels, ferrets, rats, rabbits. She is a single pet girl. Um, she's also um, clearly very good at face washing. So if you have a complex, you know, face moisturizing routine, you save a lot of money by bringing her home. Let's see, we do have, oh, I think that other little dog. Let me take her off leash and you can see what I talk about, why she deserves the name Jackrabbit. Are you ready? Are you no, ready? She's, um, very, uh, she's like a lean. She's so lean. Yeah, she's and when the sun awesome. shines, the sun will shine straight through her ears, through the tendons on her hocks. Where'd she go? Fast girl. There she is. Dinky the tennis ball. But she's a gorgeous animal, just pure muscle and beauty. And how old is she? She's only a year. She's only a year. So she's a young Hi. Hi. What are you going to bring me? What are you going to do? Can you do more than one tennis ball? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. She can't decide. Oh, I got this one. Here. Can you sit? Sit. Good boy. Drop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Someone taught her to drop, and it's the most comical thing. Let's do it again. Okay. You ready? Sit. Sit. Drop. <laughs> Just, um, no, 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 she came knowing that one. So someone's put a lot of love and a lot of work into her. And she's only here through no fault of her own. It was her roommate that brought her here, not her. Uh, sounds like she's yep. had a good upbringing. Yes. And oh my gosh, taking her outside. It's too cold today, but she is a leaper. She kind of does that four legs off the ground bound like a deer in the snow. Just your hilarity. Oh, I got you. We had so much fun outside earlier. Are you ready? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? You know, she's a nice size. Oh, yep. She's yeah. a nice size. You know, I she... Could, I could pick her up, I think. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I really, I mean, I love the pit bull breed. They're such affectionate dogs. Um, she does have a dangerous whip-like tail, so watch out for that when she gets excited. But I just love how focused she is on people. She clearly loves toys, and toys make a wonderful reward for her. Very food and treat motivated. So, you know, a very easy dog to train and work with for sure. <laughs> hey, everyone. I want to introduce you to this big wiggle. This is Yang. Okay, go run, go run. She so wants those fun. That is not your table, my darling. Yang is one of our youngest dogs here at the shelter. She's only six months old, and she is a riot of enthusiasm. Um, let's see, Yang's, uh, let's see, as a hound dog, she is, I got you, girl. I guess those were my glasses. Um, as a hound dog, they are just, 
I absolutely love hounds. They're big old energetic goofballs. As my spouse says, they may not have a lot of brains in there, but they will make you laugh and they will love you. Put your feet down. Girl, you want, wait, do you want the big snake? I think we should get the big snake. What do you think about the giant snake? Oh, but oh my gosh. I mean, young dogs, they take a lot of work, a lot of energy, a lot of exercise, but they will make you laugh more than anything else in your life. Um, this girl, let's see, the reason she's here is because she really likes chickens. Um, so let's see, restrictions on her, no chickens. Um, but also probably including no cats as well. Um, other dogs, you know, just um, what we do when we, if you already have another dog is we simply do an introduction here at the shelter just to make sure that the two critters would get along. Um, so <laughs> um, but let's see, other than that, she is simply a joy to have. I love taking her out in the snow. She leaps and bounds like a deer outside. And you can just see that she's, she's simply a riot. Oh, oh, I got it, game. I got it, I got it. What you got, what you got, what you got, what you got? Oh, what you got? Yeah, let's see, you wanna show off your pretty face? Um, let's see, a hound dog like this, oh my gosh, my sister just brought home a young dog with two young kids in the house. And she sends the two kids outside to play with a dog and all three of them come back exhausted. Um, she is one of the one of the dogs we have that is good with kids. Hound dogs do really well. Um, but a family, you know, um, one thing with a hound dog is, you know, um, you do need access to some type of enclosed exercise area. That could be, you know, a fenced yard at your place, or so many of the towns in our communities have dog parks. And this is a dog that would just have a blast for a daily run in a dog park. Um, so if you, if you do have more of an indoor space, just making sure you have that outside exercise access area. Oh, let's see. But anyone, let's see, as a young dog, definitely patience. If you haven't had a young dog before, you know, they say it's that adage about teaching old dogs new tricks. I find it's much easier to teach an old dog a trick than a young dog who's learning it for the first time. Do you think that alligator deserves that foot? Do you think it deserves to keep that foot? Do you? Well, do do you? Oh, they do. Um, yep, puppy classes, adult classes, obedience, agility, which is one of my favorite ways to, what you go? One of my favorite ways to do training with a dog. You got it. Oh, and this girl, oh my goodness, her ears alone are cheaper than any therapy you will ever find. They're so soft and wiggly. You got your alligator? There it is. Oh, did you catch those ears flying in the air? I think I probably yeah. did. And let's see, we have, right now we have a number of senior dogs, a couple of one, two-year-old dogs, and then we have two puppies. So this six-month-old puppy and then another one as well, too. So if, you, if someone beats you to her, we have one more choice of puppydom right now. Oh, you are so adorable. Thank you, Yang. That. Everybody, this sweet little calico is Luna. I'm going to set her down and see where she wants to go. But Luna came in. You got this. Where are you going to go, girl? She's like, oh. No, no. And let's see. She's looking back for her kennel. It's up here. Do you want to climb up? Oh, there she goes. Come on, let's take a look at her in the kennel where we can see a, a nice view of her big yellow eyes. This little calico, um, she came here because her owner died. We have so many pets who rely on the, on the Humane Society as a place to, to take care of their pets when they get sick, when they pass. And this little girl, very well loved. <laughs> oh, look at you, now you want to play. Now you want to play in your turn. Um, let's see, things to know about her besides those giant eyes and whiskers. Um, she does have a bent foot. Um, she's always had it. She has her sock on there so it doesn't get scraped. So she is one of those cats that doesn't have any white socks, but she will always need to have that little protective sock. You can see she has no trouble wearing it at all. She's completely used to it. And you know, her owner loved her so much 
put a sock on that girl all the time and through no fault of her own ended up here. But you know, another nice, small, beautiful cat. Look at that eyeliner. Not many of us can get away with white eyeliner. Oh, that's my good girl. You're she so cute. Else, and yeah. she came in the, um, let's see, her owner had two cats, yeah. her and the other cat is Griffin. Let me introduce you to Griffin as well. Griffin! Okay, now this is hilarious. I promise you there is a cat in here. It's just his favorite thing, place to sleep, under the covers. Now, I never knew cats slept under covers until I got my cat from Lucy McKenzie this year. And I came home one day and couldn't find her and she was in the middle of my bed underneath the blankets. And Griffin here, I see you, wake up. Oh, there I, he is. Do you see a foot? Do you see the foot? Oh, here comes the foot. Is there a griffin in there? Hello, griffin. Yes. Oh, there he is. Look at this pretty boy coming out. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to come, come out. out. I'm going to peek in. <gasps> There's in griffin. He um, was having a party with some um, catnip earlier, so don't judge him for his party habits. And let's see if I can pull a griffin out, and si let's see if we can see all of him here. Griffin. And again, you know, Griffin boy is here through, oh gosh, look at those yellow eyes. You are just gorgeous. Oh yeah, there you go. And what do we know about him? Let's see, and Griffin, let's see. Um, he's good with other cats, he's good with dogs. Um, all three of these as older cats, you know, good with kids. You know, no nipping, no scratching. Oh, there goes that stretch, yes. Yup, now he's just having some fur growing out too. Um, one of the things that um, all pets coming into the shelter get is not just a veterinarian exam, but they get flea treatments, they get grooming that's required, and just a general huge increase in health. If you think of the tough, the tough time he's had as a pet, in the last year with this owner getting sick and dying. It's just to be able to come here, to get all of that vet care that they need that's just been put off when humans, you know, get that first, all the attention. But he's, oh my gosh, you are hilarious. Look at you, you're like a lion. Do you wanna come down so we can see what you move and walk like? You do, I'm sorry. Griffin, how many toes do you have? Do we need to look at your feet? Is that, looks like you have an extra toe down there. Yeah, uh, extra toes? Yeah, okay, let's see, come the, here. Uh, oh, polydactyl. Oh my gosh, you are he so big. Look, okay, okay, we're gonna have to zoom in on those toes. If you're a fan of Hemingway, this is the cat for you. He was famous for all of his polydactyl multi extra toad cats. Oh, definitely pat, you know, that middle age, you know, adult, old age cat. But this fellow, you know, if you're looking for just a sweet, quiet companion, he is a fabulous, oh, there you go, under the chin. Yeah. I think I found your kryptonite, mister. Oh, oh yeah. Boy. But a cat with lots of character, you know, those tagged ears, stripes, whiskers of multicolors, multi-toes. They seem behind, so look at that. Oh, gosh, I know, I know, look at that, look at this girl. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, like it's kind of that beautiful kind of fit, um, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, um, but he's going to get a nice kind of medium bushy coat as it grows in, and then right now, I he's just kind of a steady purr under my palm as well, too, yeah, just a joy, here, you want to go down, let's see where you want to go, oh, let's get, let's see if we can get any more of that impressive stretching, oh, there he goes,